how you doing guys is that I here so today uh, man this week in fact was simply like a full 180 for PlayStation seriously last week they could do no wrong they were the heroes they were the top of the line the top dog basically and now this week one after another just an epic fail of like 180 degrees on basically being a hero to a villain seriously it's like such a disappointment that's been going on regarding that first of all the showcase was not up to the par of a lot of people expectations mine included and also there's some speculations and some rumors have been mentioned that a lot of games have been held back and in fact yeah it makes total sense a lot of games were indeed held back like for example uh you know stellar blade was not there pragmata was missing the last of us uh factions was missing but because the last of us factions was missing it actually makes sense why now it was not present in here because well here's another part of the bad news that the game may be in a bit of a trouble and basic oh man this this is really unfortunate. You know, I first read this message. This came from The Last of Us official channel, official page on Twitter. This is exactly what's been mentioned. The Last of Us fans, we know many of you have been looking forward to hearing more about our The Last of Us multiplayer game. We're incredibly proud of, our, of the job our studio has done thus far. But as the development has continued, we realized that what is the best for the game it is to give it more time. Our team will continue to work on the project, as well as our other games uh, in the development, including a brand new single player experience. We we'll look forward to sharing more soon. We're grateful to our fantastic community for your support. Thank you for your passion for our, our games. It continues to drive us. Now, yeah, does it though? Because like after four years, the development of Last of Us Factions or Last of Us Multiplayer Mode, and yeah, basically it's not good. You know, I read this message and I was like, wait, what is this coming from? Okay, that maybe kind of makes sense why, like, maybe they wanted to share, like, to kind of. Uh, appease the fans basically say like where is the last of us factions why was it not present in showcase and now okay they made a statement that's fine you know you can cook your game a little longer if you need to not a problem it's also very exciting news that they're making a brand new single player experience we don't know what it could be perhaps it's the last of us part three i feel like they shouldn't because i feel that naughty dog is kind of burned out with the last of us you know projects it's kind of getting ridiculous if that makes sense and but yeah the another thing it's that a few moments later jason schreier has came out with a blog with a very big bloomberg uh, article regarding of the last of us factions and that is indeed it is in the well it's in trouble so i'm not gonna read out a whole blog it's kind of lengthy and also i don't think a lot of key details were taken from there like I'm, I'm gonna take all the key details basically from the article that's what i mean and i will you know mention it in here so the last was multiplayer games potentially on the brink of cancellation according to jason trier from bloomberg just to clarify uh, a lot of people like to tend to use cancellation right in their titles and their whatever in the articles my apologies guys you can hear i'm a little bit sick still but i'm recuperating uh, but yeah basically no the game the factions the multiplayer is not cancelled at least not yet for as an example naughty dog significantly scaled down the team with many moving on to the other projects within naughty dog uh, studio so that's kind of concerning so do they have to wait on something and like this been mentioned some have been left behind there maybe a few things are kind of questionable and you know let's continue for example studio reassesses the game that's not a key detail and not yet another one is that it was not cancelled at least not at the moment and regarding of the uh, the statement that i mentioned on twitter as a result of bloomberg asking naughty dog for a statement on the article now regarding why this made the decision to kind of delay the game basically is that one of the bungie's developers came in i think not one of them it's like four of them mind you and they came in and they said something could be going on in terms of the lengthier development the lengthier uh, player attention would be a big problem within this game and if that's the case if that's what they decided to do that's fine you know that's all good it's no problem you know but then it's just saying that they scale down the developers and amount of them and they're reassessing it a little bit the game itself that's concerning very concerning because like four years of development time the first it was supposed to come out with the last was part two like a part of the package basically then they decided to go standalone 
and by the time I like, continued on with the development, the project got larger, larger, and larger to the to the point that it's gotten maybe a little too large as well. And bungee making, uh, you know, they came in into the studio, they checked that out, and they said that it does not. Ha this game does not have the longevity for the future, you know, the long term. And now they're having big problems. And so it's just like, what is going on? Like, I would understand if you were having these problems and you have to delay the game. But why did you take away so many developers from making, continuing making this game? You know, it's weird. And as such, they need to re like, they need to kind of reassess this game as well. So what does this mean? Is it going to be on hi hiatus? Is it going to be in development hell? Is it going to just linger there for no reason? See, like, it's just weird. Something is definitely going on and we're not yet exactly aware of exactly what is going on. And yeah, it makes sense why now it's in, not in the showcase. It makes sense why it received a statement right there before. And yeah, it's just, you know, the statement give, like kind of reassures, uh, reassures us, but also with the article coming from Jason Trier, not so much. Actually, it's kind of concerning because there still is a possibility in the future it could get cancelled. But also, would they want to cancel this? I don't feel like they would. I feel that, look, Sony is not as like, you know, rich as Microsoft as an example, so they can't just simply outright and cancel it. But Again, it's business, so we can't really argue and say like we know exactly what they want to do, because like their direction with the live services titles now it's kind of having a little bit well a backlash, right? Because like with Concord, uh, with the Fair Games and a few other games as well, like their concentration on live services actually it seems like backfiring on them. Seems like because they showed us nothing. They genuinely have showed us nothing. It's like from first party games, like it's insane, like what PlayStation is doing. And now with this news, it seems like that it's not gonna go any better, at, the, at least not as at the moment. Man, it just sucks. Like, it's very disappointing. So much bad news going on with PlayStation at the moment. Uh, I expected to see maybe the last of us factions at the Summer Game Fest, maybe at the Game Awards now. I don't expect this game to be even seen this year at all, so I, I wonder, because like it seems like, and I'm gonna say it officially now, that Insomniac is the developer to be looking forward to from the future and on on, like because Naughty Dog were the ones that are like the main dogs of PlayStation, Sony Santa Monica included, and Insomniac was there as well. Now Insomniac has surpassed Naughty Dog and also Santa, uh, Santa Monica Studios. It's not to say that the you know the quality isn't there or it is there, but the amount of games that they're able to pump out and consistently on top of that is just incredible. It genuinely is incredible. All right, guys, it's just it's just so bad. It's such bad news every day. It just seems like PlayStation is having no break at this point. It's like Xbox one thing and now PlayStation the other thing. It's just, come on, like, will you stop with this? It's just give us some positive news for love of God. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, like and subscribe. See you guys all later. Have a wonderful day.